Hello and welcome to another e-learning session that is of uh, uh, immunology lecture series. So the topic is autoimmunity. So first we will see the uh, topics which we are going to cover in this lecture. First we will see the autoimmunity, basically the definition of the autoimmunity. Then uh, immune tolerance, basically central to uh, tolerance and peripheral tolerance. Then various mechanism of the autoimmunity at last the various autoimmune diseases so first we will see the autoimmunity basically autoimmunity is a state of uh, unresponsiveness of immune system autoimmunity is a condition in which the body's own immunological competent cells or antibodies are going to act against its self antigens which is resulting in structure or functional damage Paul Ehrlich had first introduced the concept of autoimmunity. He termed his uh, th uh, he termed this condition as a horror autotoxicus. Then we will see the immunological tolerance. Normally, the immune system does not react with its own cells uh, uh, due to the protective mechanism called tolerance, where any breach in tolerance mechanism uh, predisposes to several immune. Uh, several autoimmune diseases basically tolerance means no immune response against its own tissue for that uh, there are two mechanism one is called central tolerance and other is peripheral tolerance so first uh, we will see the central tolerance central tolerance is, is, is basically uh, happen in uh, the central immune organs that is thymus and bone cells where deletion or the uh, evasion of the self reactive T cell is going to happen in the thymus while in the case of uh, B cell uh, the deletion is happening into the bone marrow. So first we will see the central tolerance in the thymus. During the T cell development in thymus if any self antigens are going to encounter they are processed and presented by thymic antigen presenting cells that is antigen presenting cells in association with self MHC any developing T cell that are going to express a receptor for such self antigen is negatively selected. Therefore, the resulting peripheral T cell pool is devoid of self reactive cells and which is uh, deleted by the apoptosis. While in the case of bone marrow, uh, when developing immature B cell in the bone marrow are going to encounter a self uh, antigen during their development, the tolerance is basically uh, developed by the two ways first is receptor editing and second is negative selection in uh, receptor ed uh, editing it is basically a process by which b cell reactive the machinery of antigen receptor gene are going to rearrangement will be will be happen mainly genes coding for the light chains will be there so that a different or b cell receptor will be produced which no longer recognize the self antigen basically they, we are going to edit uh, the receptor genes of, uh, on the B cell. This edited B cell receptor are going to deactivate it against the self antigen. After receptor editing, if the B cell again recognize a self antigen, then they are destroyed by subjecting them to apoptosis. See, the process of central tolerance is not completely perfect. Many self reactive T cell and B cell bearing the receptor for self antigen, which is escape into the periphery. Hence, for counteracting those lymphocytes, peripheral tolerance takes a lead role. See, this is the central tolerance and peripheral, uh, peri peripheral tolerance. Sorry. Here you can see this is the B cell, while this is the T cell, which is a immature T cell. See, B cell is going to uh, tolerance by the B cell receptor reading or the apoptosis, which will be seen by here and here. Uh, if this uh, B cell uh, or the self reactive B cell is going to escape by the central tolerance, it will be captured here in peripheral tolerance. And uh, finally, the energy or apoptosis or any or, or by any other mechanism, it will be deleted uh, uh, while the uh, it is not going to produce the immune response against the self antigen. While in the case of T cell, uh, the apoptosis and regulatory T cell will be taking care of this uh, in the case of self. Uh, central tolerance uh, if this um, uh, still if if, if, uh, if the self reactive t cell is going to uh, escape from central tolerance it will be goes to 
peripheral uh, it will be captured by the peripheral tolerance with uh, any of the mechanism which we will see in next uh, uh, next I mean, uh, in next slides so in peripheral tolerance it is basically a uh, several backup mechanism that occur into the peripheral tissue to counteract the self reactive t cells that escape from the central tolerance it is provided by several mechanism these mechanisms are basically ignorance energy phenotypic skewing apoptosis regulatory t cells dendritic cells and sequestered antigens so we will see one by one so first is ignorance the self reactive t cell might never encounter the self antigen which they recognize and therefore it remains the state of ignorance this is how the uh, uh, the self reactive t cells are going to capture in the periphery while in the case of energy it can be defined as the unresponsiveness of the antigenic stimulus the self reactive t cell interact with uh, t cell uh, self reactive t cell are interact with antigen presenting cells in the presence of self antigen but the co stimulatory signal is going to block see normally t cell is activated by uh, antigen which is uh, interact with mhc co complex plus antigen presenting cell which is going to interact by t cell t, uh, t cell receptor on t cell this is the first or main signal the second signal is uh, by the b7 molecule on antigen present t cells which is binds with cd28 on t cell which is called as co stimulatory uh, signal which is going to uh, block here in the case of energy and this is how it will be captured into the peripheral tolerance while in the case of phenotypic skewing the self reactive t cell is interacting with antigen presenting cells which is present with self antigens undergo full activation but it might secrete non pathogenic cytokines and chemokine receptor profile hence although they are going to activate but it will be fail to induce the autoimmune responses so this is phenotypic skewing next is apoptosis self reactive t cells are activated after interacting with antigen presenting cells which is presented with self antigens but the activation of the t cell induce a regulation of the fast ligand which subsequently interacts with the death of the receptor fast which is leading to apoptosis this mechanism is called activation induced cell death that is aicd which is seen in this figure here there are other uh, several mechanism uh, the first is regulatory t cells where t, t regulatory cells can down regulate the self reactive t cells uh, through the secreting certain cytokines for example interleukin 10 and transforming growth factor beta or by killing by direct cell to cell contact but in the case of dendritic cells when certain dendritic cells such as uh, immature dendritic cells and tolerogenic dendritic cells are captured the self antigen for or processing they down regulate the expression of molecules of co stimulatory uh, uh, ligands such as cd40 and b7 molecules or act indirectly by induction of regulatory t cells then sequestered of self antigen certain self antigens can evade immune recognize because they are hidden or uh, sequestration in immunological privileged sites or the organs for example cornea proteins which is present into the eye while testicular uh, antigens basically they are the sperms and antigens from the brain which basically these are the hidden antigens and they are not going to directly come into the or um, they, are, they are not going to interact with the t cell self reactive t cells so this were the peripheral tolerance then we will see the various mechanism of the autoimmunity Uh, uh, this uh, mechanisms are breakdown of T cell energy, failure of apoptosis, loss of T regulatory cells, release of sequestered or the hidden antigens, molecular mimicry, bystander activation, and etc. etc. So first is breakdown of T cell energy. Normal cells that do not usually express co-stimulatory molecules, or the uh, T cell activation is going to. Uh, have two main signal uh, two signals one is main signal which is antigen plus mhc complex of antigen presenting cell interacts with t cell receptor on t cell and other is the b7 molecules on antigen presenting cells which is binds with cd28 on t cells 
if this B7 molecules can uh, 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 express the co-stimulatory uh, signal, uh, such signal may occur in uh, 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 such co-stimulatory uh, signals are not going to interact or not going to stop. Uh, it will be uh, indux, uh, induction uh, of this co-stimulatory signal is occur in the presence of tissue necrosis and local inflammation. This mechanism has been postulated for multiple sclerosis, rheumatoid arthritis and psoriasis. While in the case of failure of apoptosis, failure of the auto-reactive activated T cell to undergo activation induced cell death, that is AICD, that is apoptosis via uh, fast fast ligand that can lead to autoimmunity. It is observed in the patient which is suffering from SLE, that is systemic lupus erythromatosis. Providing T cell help to stimulate self reacting B cell. Here, antibody response to self antigens occur only when potentially self reactive B cells receive help from T cells. For example, an autoimmune, uh, auto, in, in autoimmune hemolytic anemia, administration of certain drugs may result into drug induced alteration in the red cells. For example, penicillin uh, is the drug uh, which is interact with this. Uh, alteration in red cell surface that create antigen which can be recognized by helper T cell. Release of sequestered antigens. The sequestered or the hidden antigens are usually viewed as a foreign to the immune system as they are never been exposed to the tolerance mechanism during the development of immune system. Injury to this organ which is leads to release of such sequestered antigen which are very capable of mounting an immune response. For example, sperm or the ocular antigen which is released after trauma or the surgery can cause post uh, vasectomy orchitis and post traumatic uh, uitis. Then the molecular mimicry. Some microorganisms which share antigenic determinants, uh, basically these are the epitopes with self antigens and an immune response against such microbes would produce antibodies that can cross react with the self antigen. For example, acute rheumatic fever results due to antibodies formed against the streptococcal antigens which is basically M protein which cross react with cardiac antigen due to antigenic cross reactivity. See in this picture the group A streptococcus which is present into the throat infection express a large amount of M protein which is an antigen. The large amount of immunoglobulin G which is produced against the M protein which also shares the uh, antibody with the heart valves and um, the injury will be there, injury will be there. So it is basically a antibody induced injury to heart valves and sarcolemma. Then bystander activation. It is the non-specific activation of bystander self-reactive Th1 cells. Activation of microorganism specific Th1 cells lead to cytokine influx which causes an increase in uh, infiltration of various non-specific T cell at the site of infection. Then we will see the autoimmune diseases. Basically these autoimmune diseases are of two type. One is localized into single organ or organ specific. Another is non-organ specific or systemic. So first we will see the single organ or cell type autoimmune diseases. The first is autoimmune anemia. Here the autoimmune hemolytic anemia as we have already discussed. The self antigen is present on the RBC membrane proteins. Here the auto antibodies to RBC antigens are triggered in complement mediated lysis or antibody mediated. Here the optionization of the RBCs will be there. In the drug induced hemolytic anemia, drugs are alter the red cells. Drugs are basically a penicillin or methyl dopa which is interact with RBCs so that the cells become antigenic and anemia will be there because of the hemolysis. Then third is pernicious anemia. Here the self uh, antigen are present in, uh, on the intrinsic factor, a membrane. Intrinsic basicter is a membrane bound protein on gastric parietal cells. Here, auto antibodies to intrinsic factor are going to block the uptake of vitamin B12 that leads to megaloblastic anemia, which is called also called as pernicious anemia. Then the good pasture syndrome. Here, the self antigen are present on the kidney and lung basement membranes. 
here the auto antibodies binds to the basement membrane and regions on kidney glomeruli and the uh, alveoli of the lungs which is followed by complement mediated injury that leads to progressive kidney damage and pulmonary hemorrhage then myasthenia gravis basically a self antigen are present on the acetylcholine receptors the blocking of uh, blocking type of autoimmunity uh, sorry auto antibody directed against acetylcholine receptor present on motor nerve endings which leads to progressive weakening uh, weakening of the skeletal muscles and then the graves disease here the thyroid stimulating hormone receptor are basically a self uh, antigen the anti tsh that is thyroid stimulating hormone auto antibody uh, stimulates the thyroid follicles which is lead to hyperthyroid state of the patient then the hashimotos thyroiditis here the self antigen are present on the thyroid protein center cells in this uh, in that case auto antibodies and t cells are targeted against the thyroid antigen which leads to suppression of the thyroid gland which is seen in middle aged females uh, and also hypothyroid state is produced by decrease production of the thyroid hormones then post streptococcal glomerulonephritis self antigen are present on the kidney basically a streptococcal antigen streptococcus is basically a bacteria uh, streptococcal antigen antibody complex are going to deposit on the glomerular basement membrane the patient are suffering from the rindel diseases so this were the organ specific now we will see the systemic uh, autoimmune diseases the first is sle here the self antigen are present on the auto antibodies basically this auto antibodies are produced against the various tissue antigens such as dna nuclear protein rbc and platelet membranes this uh, disease is um, basically of women which is 20 to 40 years of age are commonly affected female to male ratio is 10 gem 1 uh, here the autoimmune complexes are formed which are deposited in various organs major symptoms is fever and the butterfly rash over the cheeks then sjogren syndrome here the self antigen are basically presented on the ribonucleoprotein for example ssa and ssb which is presented on salivary gland acrimal gland liver kidney and thyroid here the auto antibodies to this uh, ribonucleoprotein antigens leads to immune mediated destruction of the lacrimal and salivary glands which is resulting into the dry eyes and dry mouth then the scleroderma basically a systematic uh, sclerosis here the self antigen are present in on the nuclear antigen such as dna and um, topo isomers and centromere present into the heart lungs git kidney etc here the helper t cells and auto antibody mediated uh, it, it is basically a uh, t cell and auto mediated uh, auto antibody mediated there uh, in patient comes with excessive fibrosis of the skin throughout the body basically it's a, it is of a two type one is diffuse scleroderma and other is limited scleroderma then multiple sclerosis self antigen are present on the brain basically in a white matter of the brain here the self reactive t cell produce characteristic inflammatory lesion in brain that destroys the myelin sheath of nerve fibers which leads to numerous neuro neurological dysfunction so this were the overall autoimmune diseases i hope you can like it thank you